Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about automatic control valves. Now we've had a number of customers come to us and say, what is an automatic control valve? What's its purpose? Why is it any different than any other valve? So I thought I'd take the opportunity to explain to you the differences. Now let's start off with first why an automatic control valve. Automatic control valves have the ability to flow tremendous amounts of water. They also have the ability to provide you very precise control with respect to the function that you're seeking. And lastly, automatic control valves have the ability to do more than one function. They be, can be constructed to do multiple things. So starting off with the, the capacity issue, we'll compare an automatic control valve of the pressure reducing function to a direct acting pressure reducing valve. Now here at Zern Wilkins, the largest pressure reducing valve that's direct acting in nature that we manufacture is 3 inch in size. That valve has the ability to flow about 300 gallons a minute. On the other hand, if we compare that to an ACV or automatic control valve, again also referred to as a pilot operated valve, if we compare them, the 3 inch automatic control valve of the pressure reducing function has the ability to flow about 460 gallons a minute and intermittently it can hit upwards of 600 gallons a minute. So by strictly going to the automatic control valve, we have the ability to almost double the flow rate as compared to a direct acting pressure reducing valve. So you can see from the standpoint of flow rate, they deliver tremendous amounts of fluid. Now with respect to their accuracy and how well they deliver that fluid with respect, in, in this case again the pressure reducing valve, we're going to want that pressure to be delivered virtually constantly. When we compare to a direct acting pressure reducing valve, they exhibit a characteristic that's called fall off. Fall off basically is the change in our, my outgoing pressure when I go from a static condition to a flowing condition. The more water that a direct acting pressure reducing valve flows, the lower the downstream pressure will become. Now, in most applications that may not be a problem, but many times in industry or even in some housing situations, we demand constant pressure regardless of flow rate. The automatic control valve of the pressure reducing variety can deliver you constant pressure regardless of flow rate or changes in inlet pressure. So that's giving us the accuracy that we may need in some systems. We've got to have that water at a constant pressure regardless of the flow rate. And again, the direct acting PRV just can't do that. So from the standpoint of going from to the automatic control valve versus the direct acting, again, just to reiterate, we're going to have constant pressure with the automatic control valve, and it's also going to deliver tremendous, tremendous amounts of volume. Now lastly, we talked about having the ability to provide more than one function with the automatic control valve. In this particular case, I have a valve here. This is called a ZW209H. What this valve does, it serves as a sustaining valve and a reducing valve. So what we mean by that, it's got a sustaining pilot on it, but it also has a pressure reducing pilot. This valve, in essence, will always hold back a certain amount of pressure. As long as that pressure is greater than what we set the valve to, the valve will open up, will pass water through it, and then the pressure reducing function will go ahead and knock the pressure down. But in the event that my inlet pressure starts to fall, I may have some critical user ahead of this valve. This valve will begin to shut itself off so that I never lower my inlet pressure be, be below the set point that we've described and adjusted it to. So the point being is that this valve is actually serving two purposes all in one valve. And we could go even a tad bit farther with that. We could add a solenoid valve, for example, and we could open or close this valve electrically and again, have it sustain inlet pressure and also reduce outgoing pressure. So the beauty of the automatic control valve is that high flow rate, that accuracy of delivery and the ability to do multiple functions all in one valve. Now, if you have any questions about this particular product, we'd strongly encourage you to call the customer care uh, department at Zern. They'll give you a rundown on the valve. They can give you specifications on the product. Anything that you really need, we can provide to you. If you have deeper questions than that, we'd strongly encourage you to ask for the engineering group and we can discuss your application, make sure that we're getting you the proper valve. All in all, Zern Wilkins will have the automatic control valve for the application that you need.